हेलो एवरीवन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक सर्किट इन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स व्हाट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैग्नेटिक लाइन्स ऑफ फोर्सेस व्हाट इज एम एम एफ रिलेक्टर्स परमियाबिलिटी परमियाबिलिटी ऑफ फ्री स्पेस दैट इज म्यू जीरो एंड परमियाबिलिटी ऑफ द रिस्पेक्टिव मटेरियल दैट इज म्यू आर सो वी विल मूव टूवर्ड्स द मैग्नेटिक सर्किट नाउ सो बेसिकली जस्ट ऑब्जर्व दिस डायग्राम सो हियर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ मैग्नेटिक सर्किट्स आर गिवन सो मैग्नेटिक सर्किट इज नथिंग बट ए क्लोज द पाथ वेयर द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इज सेटअप और एस्टेब्लिश्ड मैग्नेटिक सर्किट इट विल बी हैविंग द सोर्स ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स दैट इज एम एम एफ देन मैग्नेटिक पार्ट्स विल बी देयर एंड समाइम्स सम नॉन मैग्नेटिक पार्ट्स विल बी देयर ओके जस्ट लाइक इन केस ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर और मोटर सराउंडिंग एयर और एयर गैप विल बी देयर सो हियर वी आर हैविंग द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डी सी जनरेटर और मोटर सो इन दिस सम पोल्स आर देयर सो बाय यूजिंग दिस पोल्स एंड कॉइल और कंडक्टर वी विल क्रिएट द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट एंड हियर वी हैव द आर्मेचर और रोटर सो इन बिटवीन दिस स्टेटर एंड रोटर वी आर हैविंग द एयर गैप सो ड्यू टू दिस करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू दैट कंडक्टर द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इज सेटअप एंड द इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन द स्टेटर एंड रोटर इट विल बी देयर ओके इन द एयर गैप ओके वेयर द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इज सेटअप now here the example of core type transformer is taken so in case of core type transformer we will be having the primary and secondary winding okay wound on the core or limb of the transformer and the magnetic flux it will be set up in the core of the transformer in case of shell type transformer also we have the primary and secondary windings but there will be two paths for the magnetic flux to set up as shown in the figure so this is the example of shell type transformer so practically the body of electric motor generator or transformer we can take the example of magnetic circuit so mostly in all those equipments or devices the electromagnets that is temporary magnet are used uh, to produce the magnetic flux once the current is not there the it will lose the magnetism or its properties and magnetic flux will be zero so we are having the two types of magnetic circuits series magnetic circuit and parallel magnetic circuit so basically a magnetic circuit that will be having one path for the magnetic flux to set up this is called as series magnetic circuit so as you can see in this diagram there is only one path for the magnetic flux to set up so hence this circuit is called as series magnetic circuit so the example of series magnetic circuit you can take the example of single phase core type transformer so in case of core type transformer we will be having only single window structure and primary and secondary windings will be there but there will be only one path for the magnetic flux to set up in the core of the transformer so some of the flux will be flowing in all the components of the transformer but some of the flux will be leak in the air okay as some air will be there surrounding so there is a leakage of magnetic flux that will happen in the core type transformer as well next type of circuit will be parallel magnetic circuit so in case of parallel magnetic circuit that will be having more than one path for the flux to set up this is called as parallel magnetic circuit the example of parallel magnetic circuit we can take as a shell type transformer in case of shell type transformer there are two window structure as we can see this is first window and this is second window and primary and secondary windings will be wound on the central limb so here the main flux it will get divided into two path so one we will be having 5 1 and another one we will be having 5 2 so all those flux lines they will have the two paths just to set up in this transformer core so different flux will be flowing in this magnetic circuit hence this is called as parallel magnetic circuit next we will discuss about the analogy between the magnetic circuit and electric circuit that means there are some similarities and dissimilarities in the electric circuit and magnetic circuit so first we will discuss about the similarities in case of electrical circuit and magnetic circuit so here we have the definition of electric circuit as it is the path of a flux sorry it is the path for the current to flow okay this is the closed path where the electric current or electric charges will be flowing from one point to other point whereas in the magnetic circuit 
दिस इज द पाथ वेयर द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इज सेटअप दैट मीन्स इन केस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक सर्किट देर इज नो एनी मूवमेंट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स विल बी देयर वेयर एज इन द इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट द मूवमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट विल बी देयर फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अदर पॉइंट दैट मीन्स वी नो द करंट विल बी फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम हायर पोटेंशियल टू लोअर पोटेंशियल बट इन केस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक सर्किट द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स डज नॉट फ्लो बट इट विल गेट एस्टैब्लिश इन द मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल वेयर इट विल गेट द लो रिलेक्टन्स पार्ट so this is the example of electrical circuit here the electric source will be there here the current will be flowing and this is the load resistor we can consider whereas in the magnetic circuit this material will be either uh, circular or rectangle or square any kind of material shape will be there and we will wound one winding on this material and we will just have the current flowing due to mmf and here the magnetic flux will be established in case of electric circuit by using ohms law we can define the current such as i equals to or current equals to emf upon resistance that is i equals to v upon r but whereas in case of magnetic circuit we are having the flux equals to mmf upon reluctance so this is the ohms law for the magnetic circuit then here we are having the resistance which is equals to rho l by a uh, this is again l upon sigma a this is resistivity and here we have the reluctance which is l upon mu into a so here the permeability will be there so in case of electric circuit we can define the conductivity vt which is sigma and here we have the permeability which is mu so regarding this mu mu 0 and mu r we have discussed in the last classes then what are the dissimilarities in the electric circuit and magnetic circuit as i told you earlier the electric charges physically will move from one point to other point in the electric circuit but whereas the magnetic flux does not contain any moving particles that means it is not going to flow from one point to other point but it will get set up in the magnetic material where it will get the low reluctance part in case of electric circuit the resistance does not depend on the current density in the material but the reluctance will be depending upon the magnetic flux density in the material in case of magnetic circuit so these are the analogous quantities between magnetic circuit and electric circuit we have completed so there are some similarities and dissimilarities that we need to consider next we will discuss about the bh curve that means there is a relation between magnetic flux density and magnetization force okay that we will discuss so this is called as b versus h curve so bh curve is the graph of magnetic flux density b in that particular medium versus the magnetic field strength h in that particular respective medium so the slope of the in that slope of the bh curve that indicates the permeability of the material okay which is mu for free free space vacuum air or any kind of non magnetic material the graph will be very straight line and its slope is constant which is given by mu 0 the value of mu 0 is 4.2 10 raised to minus 7 henry per meter but for magnetic materials like steel okay or iron the field strength okay it will gets increases from zero initially the value of the b increases rapidly but after the knee point when h increases the increase in the magnetic flux density that is b is smaller and smaller that means after sufficient large value of the h increase in the b is very small that means the b remain constant this region is called as saturated region and in the saturated region the permeability of the magnetic material is very small so we can see over here this is the magnetic flux density b and here we have the magnetic field strength h so for magne sorry sorry for non magnetic material the graph is very linear we can say here the slope of the graph is constant which is mu 0 4.2 tend to minus 7 and here we have the graph of non magnetic materials so initially as h increases b increases linearly so this is the knee point after this knee point as as increases increase in the b is very small and it will remain constant so if suppose the value of the magnetic flux density in the magnetic part of the machine is within the unsaturated region so here we have the two regions so before this knee point we have the unsaturated region 
and after this knee point as be saturate this region is called as saturated flux region so if the value of b is within the unsaturated region then the permeability of that machine is very high that means we required very small mmf to set up the larger value of the flux so with a small mmf we can produce the higher magnetic flux but in case of saturated region the permeability will be very small so you require more number of mmf to set up the large value of the flux so in general in case of electrical machines your magnetic field strength h that will be depending upon applied voltage that means v and the output variables that will be depending upon the magnetic flux density b so to control the machine easily your output variables should be directly proportional to the applied voltage hence your bh curve should be a straight line that means your material should be operated in the unsaturated region only hence your magnetic flux density in the machine should be within the unsaturated region so all these two points okay we need to consider while studying the bh curve of any kind of electrical device so this is the importance of the bh curve that we need to consider so i will stop here for today we will just continue with the few points in the magnetic circuit in the next few few classes thank you